When a person becomes paralyzed, a level of their independence is also robbed from them. And that affects us psychologically and our spirits. There's a part of us that dies. I've been trying to visualize myself a contraption that would enable me to get up and walk. I thought, well, is it going to be an avatar, perhaps a robot? And then I received the phone call to try this new technology. I've heard from so many people that the first thing that they encounter after an injury uh, or an amputation uh, is the word no. And I think we are demonstrating here that there is no such word as no. In 2005, we entered a license agreement with the University of California to commercialize the innovative exoskeleton technology that was developed at the Robotics and Human Engineering Laboratory. ELEGS is, as an engineer, one of the most satisfying projects to work on because it's an integration of so many interesting talents, mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, programming control, and really when you bring all those aspects together, that's when you get a really innovative product. To take my first step was just astounding because I bent my knee for the first time in 18 years and I placed my heel on the ground and then I transferred my weight and then I took another step and another one and it was so natural and that was what really gripped me. In my field of spinal cord injury, uh, we work with people who typically are paralyzed for the rest of their life. For the first time in history, we can start to think about giving movement back. I think what's particularly exciting about exoskeleton research currently is that it's becoming much more compact and affordable and therefore potentially useful in medical applications. In the future, we will introduce another device that is specially designed for homes. That device will actually allow you to step in it in the morning, go and have your breakfast, then you drive off to work, even wearing it. You can walk in the park, you can go with your friends to the ball game, and it's uh, pretty much your companion during the whole day. I'm not meant to be in my wheelchair, sitting down and rolling. I'm going to be tall in my body, to walk on sidewalks, to go into a restaurant. I'm doing it! <laughs> but most importantly, to hike in nature. This is not a wave of the future. This is reality. <laughs>